someone posted this photo on Facebook. Now, this is not the actual photo, but it's one similar to it with the same uh, wording and, and whatnot, um, uh, which says that uh, it's supposed to be Biden speaking, saying that I'm about to show America how great a president Trump really was. Well, when I first saw that, I thought it was kind of humorous and whatnot. But in light of things that are happening now with how um, President Biden is dismantling everything that President Trump has done to make America a stronger and secure nation, how uh, President Trump has made America uh, energy independent, uh, he strengthened our uh, uh, our military, the military was going down. He brought our military back to life, more or less. Um, he did a lot of things, uh, even speaking at the UN and telling the UN that they were not there to govern and to rule and control people, but rather they were there to assist nations when they needed uh, assistance. And he stopped paying money to these nations that were basically enemies of ours. And he, you know, he, he made America a whole lot better than what it is today. And even now, we're seeing the crisis at the border where the illegals are coming in uh, by the hundreds of thousands. And they're coming because Joe Biden has said, come one, come all. And especially the young, uh, the teenagers, some many are coming by themselves. And they're coming by themselves because they heard that Joe Biden said to them to come and that, you know, that he would take, America would take care of them. So they're coming along and by them coming by themselves, being unprotected, they're putting themselves in jeopardy. They're putting themselves in jeopardy of the, uh, the, the coyotes, that transport these illegal, uh, these people coming to America. They put themselves in jeopardy uh, uh, with the cartels, the drug cartels there. Uh, they're, they're putting themselves in, in jeopardy through uh, uh, being sexually assaulted and things of this nature. But uh, Joe Biden seems not to, to, to be concerned about this. Why is he, isn't he concerned? show you this video and you judge for yourself. So look at the way he's groping and smelling this young little girl's uh, hair and getting, you know, really close. <laughs> like kiss from this young lady here, you know, almost reluctant to get close to him. He's having fun, thank you, sir. <laughs> So after photo shoot, watch how he just grabs a little girl around her waist, holds her tight. Okay. See? Yeah, that's what the Bible. I don't know how about how you feel about it, but to me that's inappropriate uh, behavior. We're look up the photographer up top. Oh, there he is. This is not the only one. More to come. Creepy, man. Eighteen. Now, the, your sisters. No, we ask the young ladies how old they are. Look at her hair. She's a girl. Same behavior. Okay, right. Here's the official. No, guys. Many would look at this and probably say, "Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with what he's doing, but it's just, it's just creepy uh, to me." Can I just uh, actually take a picture of him and the young lady uh, alone. <laughs> Touching the hair. That's something intimate. Yeah, you don't do that to people <laughs> you're not uh, uh, close to. I could have shot this, chopped this up into small bits and pieces, but I, I wanted 
give you as much as the video to show you so that you you couldn't say well this is something he just planted but i wanted to show you the lead up those moments <laughs> I didn't the young lady's face there. I mean, that's not his granddaughter. That's not uh, a family member of his. You know, like I say, it's very, very. Uh, there he is again. And this is a uh, family of. Uh, see, I can't think of the speaker, the former. Here we go. So, once is enough. So here we see this, this, this behavior by our uh, president, President Biden. America is in trouble. So, but anyway, this is the man that many of you elected, President uh, Joe Biden. <clears throat> you know, a, a pedophile uh, in the White House. That's okay. Uh, we got rid of Trump. That's the main thing. That's the only thing that matters. America is in trouble, brothers and sisters. And uh, I'm sure many of you have seen this video of Biden falling as he makes his way up the steps to Air Force One. Um, he stumbled three times. He fell three times. You know, he's fallen before in the past, but never three times in 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 one setting and it's very could this be a a, a prophetic uh, event could this be a uh, an event that signifies something uh that that we should pay attention to you know uh president biden he represents america he represents america he represents what america is now he's weak and he's frail he's not strong um, and so is America falling? Is this prophetic for us? Is it prophetic for us? What what are we to make of it? You know, it's embarrassing. And, and not only are, is America watching, but also the, al the, the enemies of America are watching. So should we be concerned by this fall? There's something that may be symbolic for us to see, for us to discern of those that are, are in the body of Christ. We should be able to discern that America is, is a, a, on a path of falling. We're opening ourselves up to be overrun by other nations. And believe me, the other nations are watching. China is watching. Uh, Russia is watching. Iran is watching. Joe Biden is weak and he's frail. He's not like Donald Trump, who was strong. And uh, men dare not cross the line with him because he knew how to fight back. So is our hope in Kamala Harris, who will become president, should Joe Biden uh, not be able to fulfill uh, his office, his term? Was, is she our hope? I think not. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. I have a few things to say concerning Kamala Harris on the next video. I just wanted to give you an eye opening uh, of what you've just seen. Amen. Because uh, this is the man that you have elected. I'm talking to the, the, the body of Christ. I'm not talking to the world. Like I said, the, the, I believe the, the, the Lord has instructed me to speak to the body of Christ. Because the body of Christ is out of joint. The body of Christ is uh, living, you know, for the most part, out of the will, not of the purposes of God. And we have been deceived by media. So this is the man that you have elected, and this is who you have put in office. Uh, a pedophile, no less. Because we know there are a lot of things that goes on in Washington. A lot of secret societies, a lot of rituals. Uh, people do things to get ahead. And believe you, believe you me, the, uh, some of these men will sacrifice their daughters to get positions in Washington, D.C. So stay tuned. Uh,
have some information to bring out concerning Kamala Harris. Until next time.